Good morning, good morning everybody, good morning to you. How you doing? Praise the Lord everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm a trader. How you doing? Good morning. I don't own copyright privileges to this song. If I did, guess what? I don't think I'd be right here. I don't think I'd be doing this. Where would I be? Could you think of the royalties that came forth on this song? Dear God, that woman is so blessed. Whoever you are, Shirley Caesar, you were part of my upbringing. I don't own copyright privileges to this song. Mm -mm. No, I don't. How you been? How you doing? This is the music that I came up. This is the time. I ain't shamed. Shirley sees. No greater. Child, please. We loved it. We loved it. Back in the day when, when I was a church girl. Oh, yeah. We love some Shirley. Got a chance to meet her. Kind of. You know, she went one way, and I'm serious. Uh, we were, we got a community choir together uh, under the auspices of Daryl Douglas, Sister Dolly Douglas's son, and we were project children. We got together and uh, started a choir. Daryl Douglas was the director, and we sang. And we were called to go places and sing there and sing here. Anyway, I was still shy of the Lord. Uh, just hiding behind. I didn't understand the whole thing. It, uh, Christianity was new to me. But I went along, me and my sister. Thank you very much, Caroline. We were part very of the Eden Wall no Community Choir. And we loved it. We loved it. This is Shirley Simpson. And she influenced so many people because she started in her youth. In her youth. Powerful singer. Powerful praise. Come on. And speaking of coward soldiers, let's talk about that today. Okay. Let's talk about coward soldiers. Let's talk about lean. Let's talk about how we lean. I ain't say how you hang it. Me. That is a difference. Come on, pray with me. Let the devil take hold and let me act the fool. Come on. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you today. We thank you for your anointing, for your blessings for your deliverance, and most of all, Lord, for your strength and Holy Spirit power within. Father God, I can only pray and ask you that that powerful force within us, Lord, kind of, I don't want to say slow down, but I'm just saying, when sometime that that Holy Spirit within us is greater than the outside of us, you know, and, uh, and we going and moving and, you know, grooving like you want us to groove. And the body just uh, still walking around with the aches and pains, but Lord, the older this body get, the more we lean. And the more, the more we lean, the stronger we get. Thank you, Father God, for forgiving us of unrighteousness and, Lord, and still loving us. 
go before us into this good day. It's still a work day. It's still a day on the battlefield. I should bless our neighbors and friends, enemies and kids. Hey, I got jokes. Thank you, Father. We love you. We thank you. We glorify you. And we ask you, Lord Jesus, to help us to put away anything, any little stone, any little discomfort in this heart, creating us clean hearts, renew a right spirit. Lord, we got to travel through this day, and we must travel a light and we must travel right. And we're asking these and other blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I uh hey I became a soldier in the Lord's Army in 1968. Me and my baby sister. I ain't gonna even go back over how that happened. But I know if it wasn't for a woman by the name of Dolly Douglas. I wouldn't be here today. Uh-uh. I wouldn't be here. Oh, man. Powerful soldier in the Lord's Army. I think she's 90-something. That woman came by and knocked on our doors. She knocked on all, a lot of doors. Talk about a soldier, honey. I was a soldier. She dressed up in her white blouse and her, uh, I think it was a missionary skirt. It had pleats in it. It was blue. And I think she wore that hat. It was a naval kind of hat. Or it could have been army or whatever. I don't know. But it was that rectangular one. And a Bible and a pocketbook in her hand, knocking on doors. My God, we laughed at her. Yes, we did. But that's where our minds were. What the Bible said. The foolishness. You know, something about the foolishness of, of, of man is astounding. Something, something about foolishness. The things of God is foolishness to the worldly people. Yeah, so we laughed. Little did we know how much we would need him. Mm -hmm. Are you a coward soldier, sweetie? Let me not hit you so hard so early. I'm Mother Gail Trailer. I'm the um, meat Mother Gail Trailer that you saw yesterday. I don't think I had any teeth in. Uh, I ain't had no lashes. I found out how to sleep in them and, and still get them to perk up a little bit. Let me stop. It's Friday, y'all. And a mother done won some victories this week. How about you? Mm-hmm. Why? Why have I won some victories? Because I've been leaning. Okay? Leaning. Every day. Every week. Every month. Every year been leaning. Uh-huh. That's how a soldier survives. And uh, God don't want no coward soldier. Are you a coward soldier? Come on now. Everybody was given a, a proportion of faith. And some of us are using it and some of us ain't. Um... Keep your focus, because this is a something that happens throughout the years. I haven't reached perfection. I haven't gotten it. But I know I, I'm, I'm on my way, because I'm leaning every day a little bit more on him. I have some scripture for you. It's a sweetie, but a shorty. And I'm serious today. And I, I promise you, I will not talk you to death. Maybe. I hope I don't. But if I do, turn me off. Shucks, I get tired of me too. But it ain't me. I'm serious. 
like there's there's a there's a time difference between um Tennessee and Alabama, or Tennessee and Georgia. I don't know. It's to me, I can't get into it because I'd get messed up. Okay. All I can say is this: when God made me, okay, I, I seem to be zoning into another arena of life. I'm not looking at things in the natural no more. I'm starting to hear more from God. I'm, I'm, I'm making choices based on what he tells me to do. I'm strengthened by his power and his might. And it's worth it. Okay, did that make any sense to you? Anyway. And you can do that. The older you get, you want some wisdom and some understanding. You want some, some victory over fear. You want some deliverance. Lean on it. And don't forget where you come from. Don't forget that you was, you know, that you was in a dilemma and he brought you out. Don't forget. I guess that's why we complain a lot. Because we keep forgetting. Try your best not to forget. Sometimes you're in the circumstances and new circumstances some blew up in your head. Well, anyway, let me stop talking. The word of God for today. Tell me, tell me. There's no coward soldiers in God's band. All right. It is 7.50. The date is September 16th. It is 2022. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and we are journeying on. It is Friday. You leaned on him how many days? Through the week, you leaned on him. Even when you was driving a little bit too fast for your britches, you was leaning like mad, wasn't you? I'm telling on myself. If it wasn't for the grace of God, I just, just the strength and the power within after you go to a service that is charged. I went out to uh, celebrate recovery last night. Holy cow. I'm talking about a soldier in God's army. That wrecks mail. I walked all up and down my road. <laughs> In boots with prongs on. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. Y'all should have been there. Down at Trenton Ministries, it was powerful. It was powerful. God bless you. God bless and keep you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He talked to us. I pray and hope you get a chance to go there. It uh, occurs on a Thursday evening. The a meal starts at five. We gather at about six, and I'm, I'm I don't even have the right times, but uh, we gather at around five, five fifteen. We have a, a little meal that's worth you not missing. A little fast, little. I, I, some of the food is. You can't even put it down in, in that length of time and get out there to the meeting because we're going to make that meeting. Uh, Mayo is going to be there at the front of the auditorium where uh, we are expected to be with him and we love him. And he says a little word and we talk back and, and okay, got prayer requests. Yeah, man. yeah, man. we pray on the spot. 
shirts. And we go on and have that meeting. And y'all, I resent the fact that it's a meeting. Do you not know where two or three are gathered together in his name? That's a church. Thursday night, y'all want to go to church? Y'all don't want to go no dang uh, Alcoholics Anonymous drug please. <laughs> but you need to be there because you know you got issues too. It ain't all about addictions, boo-boo. Alcoholic or chemical addictions. It's not all about that. It's about people who can't stop smoking. They think they can't. People who think they can't stop eating, they think they can. Women, well, women, we have a very special, just with good, it's good to be there. We have group session afterwards and uh, we sit in a circle and nothing that we say should go out of there, okay? We claim faith. We are so involved in, in our own lives. We don't, we really, you better hope, you know, and pray that we, you know, we don't, shucks. But we're a, a close-knit circle. And that happens after uh, Celebrate Recovery. Anyway, I can't go too much on that, but I had a good time, and I have a good time every week by the grace of God. And it helps me to know that I'm part of a people that don't walk around like it, we got it all together, because we don't. We got troubles and issues like everybody else that we are bringing to the throne of grace and receiving help in the time of need, our faith grows because we worship. Beautiful worship. Beautiful worship. Hallelujah. Real instrumental. You got a, a, a man talking about praises. Ha! Then we have kneel to the altar time. How many churches have kneel, come kneel down to the altar? Ain't many. Back in the day when Shirley Caesar was alive, you had church, then you had altar call. We cute. We too cute to get involved in souls that need praying with. They need talking to. You ain't got to stay all day, but if and you do, you get blessed. Invest yourselves in church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You mothers, y'all know the way. Keep praying about some of our leaders who got time on their mind. I know there's more souls than other and other, and you got to split your services up, but you bet to take out some time for these people. Take out some time. That's the Adam we might do. Joshua know how to do it. Do they do it at your church? At Tiftonia? Yeah. Pastor Brandon take time out to do it. We got to pray. But I talk too much about that stuff. Anyway, I have a shorty for you and I won't keep you. There's a lot of things on my mind. I cannot even talk about because it would take up too much time. Have a beautiful Friday today. I'm not leaving you yet. I got the scripture. Um, I chose that scripture that I saw in, where is it? Uh, 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 uh. Where is that scripture? Oh, wherever it is. I think it was in the Psalms. I'm going to read the Psalms to you since it's so early in the morning. Ain't nobody looking at me. But I don't care. 
I don't care. I'm one of them kind of soldiers. I've been on the battlefield so long. I don't give a flip. I got the ball. I'm charging forward. You know, I'm a soldier, boy. I'm a soldier. And I'm learning how to be a good soldier, too. I'm learning how to lean on it. I'm time I lean to the wrong side. And then I catch myself. Now I catch myself, get on my knees, take some time out and get on my knees in prayer. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. I got a friend in Jesus. I hope you have too. Well, it's 7.59 and the scripture that I um, want to read to you into your hearing, it's a short scripture. And I forgot exactly what. Well, anyway, I know this. It was close to the very last verse. It was, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, it's coming back. It's scripture, a psalm in the Psalms, and it's the last, is it? Hmm. Okay, let's see where it was. Now that's going to be 78. Hmm. Gosh, I talked so much I forgot where it was. Leaning on our weaknesses. Yeah. Guess what, y'all? I found out Shakespeare said something that made some sense to me. I mean, he has poetic stuff. You know, his literature is, you know, it's poetic and all of that. I just didn't go for Romeo and Juliet and all of that. But uh, Shakespeare said... God is the very staff of my age, my very prop. Shakespeare. Even Shakespeare leaned on the Lord. Shakespeare. If any of you have read any of his uh, uh, works, they say he was awesome. I remember reading some of it, but it just didn't, uh, it didn't taste well in my mouth. But it was poetic. Shakespeare. Okay. Shakespeare said, God is the very staff of my age, my very prop. He leaned on the Lord. Are you leaning on him? I know you are. You had to, to come through this week. I had to, to come on through this week. I had to lean on him. I did. Like I saw this on the left and that on the right. And, and every day he woke me up and took me through. Then met me on the job. He met me on the highway. He met me in the house. He met me on the road, walking up and down. He met me. When I called, he was there. And uh, that kind of Leaning, that shows you you got somebody to lean on. Uh-huh. Leaning on them. You got to have faith. And God don't want no coward soldiers. No, he don't. If you scared, then you ain't going to lean on him. You're going to take things up into your own hands. You got to be careful about that. The scripture I got to tell you about because I'm, I'm 28A. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. Good thing I I talk a lot because it comes back to my mind. After That's the Holy Spirit for you. What? 73, Gail. There it is. <laughs> I got it. It says... Turn to 78, uh, Psalm 73, verse 28a. But it is good for me to draw near to God. It is good for me to draw near to God. Every day, every hour of the day, it's good for me to draw near unto God. It's good. How are, we gonna how are we going to fight these battles without drawing near to God? How? How are we going to become successful in things 
unless, you know, we draw near to God. How are we going to make it through this, what they call the beginning of a, a what? A, a depression? Whatever. Something that, uh, hey, the government is, be, is upon his shoulders. And he promised us that he could be leaned on. And that's what we are doing. We're leaning on it. I would had a chance to talk to my youngest son. It looks like I'm, I, I got to talk. And uh, me and Bubba don't always agree on stuff, but we love each other. If I were raised three kids before in my life, which I have never. There would never be another one like this kid, this, this youngest. He don't know that he, some, some kids like, they born soldiers. I mean, born soldiers and don't know it. And I don't, you know, he don't realize and he won't realize until he comes into the clarity of who God made it. And that takes a lifetime. It takes a lifetime. You know? A soldier in the Lord's army he told me some things. We're trying to get some papers together and do some things. Write a book, maybe. Who knows? I could tell you about a soldier. And he served Iraq. I ain't talking about Iran. He served in Iraq. Yes, he did. During wartime. He heard, saw the devastation as missiles passed over their heads. The noise. The 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 this the blood the the oil fields and he said I didn't think they liked me because they was always sending me to the front I, I told him, they sent your butt to the front because they saw what was in you. A soldier in the Lord's army. A soldier, something special. Not that he was, he was a good kid all the way. No, he does, that's, some of our kids are stamped soldiers. There are women soldiers. There are men, so, boy soldiers. Some of y'all got in your houses right there. Don't be surprised your kids want to go to the military, military and fight for the country. Don't be surprised if they don't. <laughs> but they gonna fight. Oh yeah, they could fight in the military, the USA, but they gonna fight. If they wanna survive, they gonna fight. And they gonna learn how to lean on them. And you're going to learn how to lean on them and let them go into God's hands. But you keep praying for them. I'm still praying for that one. I don't know. I guess I see the positive of, of our experiences. And is that, is there any harm in that? My man been on the job what, so far. Uh, what he got out at a certain age. He's 41. Been working ever since. Got a beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. Nice little house. And a son. A couple of sons. No, he got one son. That's all. One son. God is good. I ain't painting no beautiful picture of my, my family, but God is good. Because it could have been different. And I was telling them uh, him about that. This administration that he's for the vet because he knows 
we are approaching a an age of hmm disruption and war I don't want to bring a doom and gloom pitch here but uh, it would behoove us to get a little closer to him lean the scripture for today it's 73 Psalm 73 verse 8 28a but it's good for me to draw near to God draw near to God folks draw near the weekend is here and um, God is still good and his mercies are everlasting if you lean on him I promise you it will pay off in the end also invest in church and have your children invest in church let your life uh, be involved in the church okay those are your people that's where the soldiers uh, charge up the uh, civilian soldier may God bless you my name is Mother Gail Trailer and I hope I have made some sense but if I haven't most likely I'll be back tomorrow if the creek don't rise. I'm just passing through.